Hey everyone, so in today's video I'm doing an art supply haul, which feels weird to me because I just did that oil painting haul not too long ago, but I was at Walmart and I don't get there often and a lot of the Walmarts I go to either have no art section or a very tiny art section. But this Walmart I went to had a great art section and I ended up buying quite a few things. I'm going to start with some of the larger items while I'm zoomed out here. Ooh, this is probably the weirdest one that I bought. This is pink paint and it was on clearance. It was regular $25 on sale for seven. All these prices will be in Canadian dollars, by the way. Actually, I don't think I remember the prices of anything except this, so that fact is irrelevant. But I saw the pink and I was like, mm, I need that. I mean, it was obviously the Mickey ears that caught my attention initially. I was like, what is that? Oh, that's paint, huh? And then I saw the price and I thought, huh, I need that. Like, that's a lot of paint for $7. The problem is I don't know what I will use this for. I'm thinking of painting the surface of my desk, but I'm unsure. Uh, do I want that pink tint in all my videos? I mean, maybe it's on brand and there's plenty. So as the surface gets scuffed up, I can paint on a new coat. It's already starting to get icky. It's got some scuffs and stains and things. So maybe painting my desk would be a good idea. White is also nice, so I'm unsure. Although I guess I could just lay a big sheet of white paper if I ever want a white background. I know I can just lay pink paper, but it's hard to find this specific shade and it would be nice for it to just be pink all the time unless I want to change it. The next item is a marker maker kit. I was a little torn on this one because I thought I'd make a cool video and I do a lot of marker art so it's very relevant to my channel but it just seems like it's gonna be awful and it's so light there's clearly not a lot in here but I'm curious and I think it'd be fun to at least check it out. It's very strange and it makes little mini markers so I'm not sure how much use I'll get out of those. Although let's be honest, I'm probably only gonna use them in this video and then never touch them again. Next, I have a diamond painting. I'm very late to this trend. Oh my goodness, are diamond paintings even cool anymore? Are they relevant still? I don't know, but I never tried one because it looked like torture and I saw this one and it just looks so cute. It's a kitty cat. I also ended up ordering a custom one online, not from Walmart, just from some website and I uploaded a picture of one of my art pieces and it's gonna get turned into a diamond painting so we'll see how that looks but I'll do this one first while I wait for the other one to arrive oh goodness it just looks so tedious <laughs> although I feel like it'll make for a good live streaming activity like it'll be a YouTube video but it's one of those things I could do while I stream and so I can be chatting with you guys while I work on it if you don't know I stream Monday through Friday on twitch my twitch account is Bailey J so twitch.tv slash Bailey J Monday Wednesday Fridays it's games and then Tuesdays and Thursdays is art and those start at 10 a.m. Pacific time and end at 2 p.m. okay the next item is this Canson watercolor paper I definitely needed more of this I used to have a pad of it and I got through it all and I also had a pad of the, what is it called? The Arches watercolor paper, but that's the more expensive, fancier stuff that I like to save for big finished pieces. I don't even do watercolor art that often, but <laughs> you know, I still like to have the paper on hand because it's also handy if you're using any water-based media like water-based markers or watercolor pencils. You know, it's, it's really, really versatile, this paper, and so I needed more of it. I don't have that many sheets of my fancy stuff yet, and I wanted some paper that I wasn't as committed to for smaller things or for testing supplies. So I'm glad I picked this up. This is 9 by 12, and it has 30 sheets. Okay, this next item, I wasn't sure if I was even going to show it in this video because you're like, what? What is this? It's just a magazine about smoothies. And the reason I almost didn't show it is because I don't want to tell you what video this is for. I want this to be a surprise what I'm using this for, but it's very nice. Lots of nice bright colors in it, which is why I chose this specific magazine. And what I do with it will be seen in a future video. The next item is a white shirt. It looks like it's still just my desk, but with a sticker on it. And why did I get a white shirt? Well, because I got these fabric markers to go with it. I did have some fabric markers in the past, but I don't think I own them anymore. I think I gave them away. 
I used those to draw on shoes and I thought it'd be cool to draw on a shirt and these just look really cute. They have a graffiti type pattern on it. At least that's what it says. That's what the branding is. Ooh, rainbow graffiti. And there are so many colors in here. This was pretty expensive. This was $30, but you are getting 30 pens out of it. So I guess that's fair. So I'm excited to give these a go and see what I can create on this shirt. This next item, not really an art supply. I just wanted to show it because it's really cute. There's sticky notepads and look at those colors. There's pastel pink, purple, and blue. Oh, adorable. I do have a regular yellow lined pad like this, but it's almost all used up. And so I figured that was a good excuse to get these ones. Next we have these paint brushes. I'm always buying packs of paint brushes like this because they're so cheap. I can't remember how much this one was, but you get so many brushes and I love the sizes in these ones. It's just such a great assortment and I just like to have lots of brushes on hand. I don't take the best care of my brushes because they're cheap and I can just buy new ones, right? I mean, it's not like I'm purposely trying to destroy them, but you know, maybe they'll sit in water overnight or maybe I forget and leave one out and it gets paint caked on it. That kind of stuff happens, so I don't like to get really expensive ones. And this set just looks really, really good. It even comes with a reclosable bag here, so. That's neat. I'm probably not gonna keep it in this bag, but if you wanted to, you could. All right, the last thing is probably what I'm the most excited about out of all these items. <gasps> Markers! Ah, ha, ha, ha. These, I believe, were $10 a pack, and there are six markers per pack, so that's a pretty good price for alcohol-based markers. They only had these two sets there, and so I'm not sure if they have other sets. They probably do. This first one, I think it's just a generic set. It doesn't have any name to the set on it. And the other one is pastel colors. It doesn't have brush tips, but you know, I just like trying out those cheap markers. <laughs> I don't know, I have high hopes. I feel like you can't go wrong. I also am just waiting for Ohuhu to release their brush tip alcohol-based markers, because apparently those are coming out sometime this year. So yes, I will be reviewing those once they're out. If you see that they're out, please tweet me, let me know. Because right now the only brush-tipped ones they have are water-based ones, and I want the, I want the alcohol-based ones. Wait, you know I did that My Strange Addiction video about the Covid markers? Since they're alcohol-based, does that make me an alcoholic? <laughs> water-based markers? No! I need the alcohol ones. I guess there is one more thing. I got this painter's tape to go with the paint I got. So that kind of counts as an art supply because it goes with the paint. And I got a bit of sandpaper. I can't even fit this all in frame. Let's just pretend the paint is in frame. I'm gonna put it back on the floor. This concludes my Walmart art haul. Hopefully you will see all this stuff get used, except maybe like this, you probably won't see that. But you know, sometimes I buy things for hauls and then you never see it again. <laughs> So I'm really, really hoping all this stuff makes it into videos. This is actually going to be my very next video, the markers one, so stay tuned for that. And let me know down below what you're most excited to see me do a video on. Out of these objects, what one are you most curious about? Or just which one do you think will make the most interesting video that you're excited to see? I was kind of thinking of prioritizing the diamond painting after the marker one, at least when looking at what's available here. But let me know, let me know. I'm also really curious about this guy. But yes, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one for the marker review.